Hey y'all, Steve from Guitar Niche here. So, this has been uh, a while in <clears throat> coming, but I'm going to show you a little hack for uh, vintage style telly barrels. Okay, um, yes there are lots of uh, uh, replacements for dealing with the inton intonation issue, but I'm going to show you a way around that uh, using just some simple replacement screws so i've already done a couple here you might notice some odd angles here but um here's here's one of the original screws about 30 millimeter and this one along with these other two you'll notice that it has a kink in it okay and that is the trick right there okay and that kink is going to allow the saddle to, to walk <clears throat> into a better position for intonation. And I'll explain uh, a little bit about the process. Now, one thing I want to point out is the kink itself is uh, behind the barrel, or where, where I've anticipated the barrel is going to be. It's, it's pretty straightforward. You look at your, your, you know, where your... Um, your barrels are sitting, are sitting before you, you try to attempt this. And, uh, you, you know, you can, you can either measure or, or just guesstimate. You don't want that, that crimp or that kink getting into the actual thread because it'll start to bind up too much. Anyway, <clears throat> having said that, um, I do recommend, if you're going to try this, I mean, it's, it's fun and it's kind of kind of funky. It does look a little wonky when, when it's all done. But you want to keep... Oops. You want to keep your original screws, you know, uh, the, uh, and screws are, you know, they're, they're, they're screws. They're, they're dirt cheap. Anyway, we'll get on with the show. So I've left this one here for last as my illustration. I'm going to take the, uh, take the pressure off. You can, of course, it's a little easier to do this with, uh, uh, without the strings on it, but, uh, I find that uh, it's not that less, uh, much less aggravating to do it with the strings on. In fact, the strings can actually help to uh, hold on to the, the saddle. So anyway, again, what we're trying to do is address the issue of uh, unrefined intonation with, uh, I'm going to need that, uh, standard vintage style saddles now I would say this the the uh, vintage saddles can be intonated pretty accurately and musically so I'm having a little trouble getting this in there okay oh come on it would help if it was up right way up there we go okay so what I got going on here is just a little tool here to to help me coordinate with the uh, the saddle itself it's fighting me that's just part of the fun okay this will help there we go keep things a little bit more organized hopefully there we go okay so anyway as I was saying uh, the original saddle configuration um, because of temperament tuning and things like this, there are sweet spots where you can, you can get these saddles to sit in certain ways where the guitar actually sounds quite musical, you know, but if you're, you know, you want to get right down to the nitty gritty and get your, your intonation like as, as bang on as you possibly can, this is the way to do it. Okay. The tricky part is getting that started. Okay. That came in handy. Before I get too too far into this, I'll show you the net result. You can see how that barrel is literally walking around. Okay, it's actually pretty cool. So I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it kind of right there. So now I have the uh, uh, the low strings. Maybe I'll take a little pressure off of that and see if I can't improve that. Okay, the point is, you know, see, look at that, walking around a little bit. And the middle strings, 
There we go. Okay. So I got this this nice zigzag pattern. So where one the the the, the heavy strings are, are like so, middle strings are like so, first two strings are like so again. Okay. So they used to be, of course, in line, and with the aid of just a slight kink in the bolt, away you go. And it's really that simple. Again, I keep the originals aside, you know, in case I want to put them back. It does look a little funky, but once you get it all dialed in, <clears throat> it works really, I mean, really, really well. You can, you can, you know, really finesse that point of intonation. You got to mess with a little bit to, to get, uh, you know, your string heights and stuff like that because things are literally kind of moving around in orbital, right? Uh, but once it's done, it's done, and it works like a charm. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Carry on. Have a great day.